I've been running around covering news like a maniac by myself. Oh no! I have become No, she's not British. She's not British. Oh no, she's not British. I'm that person who's eating out of a fast food bag in the car all the time. Where are you going? Downtown Jonesboro here. And on the right is my old newspaper right there, the News Daily. My office used to be over there until COVID got me laid off. Okay. See what's going on here. Robin Kemp has a fight on her hands. Oh, Florida. never mind. Glorious. Oh, thank God. No, they are British. Oh, thank God. Oh, fuck. Isn't it? Places like this is where democracy is born, right? She set up her own one woman website, providing fact based coverage of the election Man. to the citizens of Clayton County, Georgia. Okay. On election night, Robin was at the count in Jonesboro. Suddenly, there was intense right. scrutiny yes. from Republican observers. There was a guy at one point who, was, who came in and brought a bunch of more observers in. And he was like, Team A, you're over here. Team B, get in there. I, why? Just come in and observe. Some of those observers are still here. These guys over here, they're going to be camera shy. Let's go see them. In Georgia, they're recounting the ballots. Not that it'll make any difference to who eventually becomes America's next president. Did you guys ever find any, I mean, you mentioned some improprieties, but did you have specific ones that you were actually going to go after? So, no comment on that. We would refer you to our press secretary. There you go. <laughs> They're trying to steal an election. They're trying to rig an election. That's not true. But a different battle is being waged. And today, more reports of dead people voting from beyond the grave. Not for the White House, that's decided, but for the narrative. It's been, frankly, embarrassing. No evidence, unprofessional, desperate. It's a battle fought, not in the real world, but on social media and the cable news networks. I mean, why not just say we're not going to accept the results of this election? It's outrageous. Stop the steal! Stop the steal! Stop the steal! Stop the steal! But there are real world consequences. Stop the literal vampire pop belly goblins. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. First of all, if there's anyone that looks like a fucking vampire goblin, it's this dude. Secondly, if there's a, a vampire pop belly goblin, it's Alex Jones. But there are real world consequences. <laughs> In Atlanta, the Stop the Steal caravan has gathered in front of the state capitol building. They're on their way to Washington. We've been robbed, and we're coming from the ditches, we're coming from the woods, we're coming from Alabama, we're coming from everywhere, we're going from here to make, uh, he's calling for a million in Washington, we're going to try to make it two million. Despite the lack of credible evidence, opinion polls suggest around 80% of Republican voters believe the election was fraudulent, feeding fringe conspiracy theories about a deep state plot. Hey, yeah, I just wondered if you could tell me about Q and... The plan to save the world. Yeah. <laughs> this is all just a ploy for them to get Trump out of office because they don't want Woo! Trump exposing what the real end game of the left wing is, and that's to normalize pedophilia. QAnon followers believe Donald Trump is battling to save America from a secret pedophile ring at the heart of government. So this is not just some crackpot conspiracy theory. There is obviously well-educated people who have taken the time to step outside of the box. What do I tell you all the time? If you fucking encounter one of these psychos in the wild, ask them about child pageants. Because they literally think child pageants are fine. Like, it's so strange. Like... It's so strange. <laughs> Ugh, 
What? Uh, I'm losing it. I'm freaking losing it, dude. And to stop having other people think for them. This is still a fringe movement, but a newly elected. Also, he definitely wants to normalize pedophilia. My, Mr. Guy, cool guy. Well, five abated you. Time me out, Faustabot. Gaming just isn't your strong suit. Oh. Oh. Bummer. Bye bye. Congresswoman from Georgia has expressed support for the QAnon conspiracy. For the, let the record be shown that I, I banned him for saying gaming isn't your strong suit, not because he said I wanted to normalize pedophilia. I was going to keep him as a pet because he said some fucking psychotic shit. But then I saw that he said the unthinkable, the unsayable. A statement that deserves no light of day. And that's why I banned him. Chrissy. We asked her for an interview. Her office responded with a three-word answer. No foreign press. Beneath the more outlandish and sometimes, frankly, crazy things being said here, there is a more basic feeling. These people feel that for many years... Dude, dude, what? They're so funny. Like... This is something I only see in, like, British broadcasts. I know he's holding his mask, but, like, I only see, like, British people doing this. Like, British broadcasters doing this. Like, just put the mask in your pocket, brother. Just put it down. Like, you don't have to hold it while you're... We're out here right now outside. The crowd is going absolutely legend. It's crazy. Lots of... Lots of energy and excitement in the air. Like, why? Why are you holding the fucking mask up? more outlandish and sometimes frankly crazy things being said here there is a more basic feeling these people feel that for many years now traditional government has not been working for them america has become a country divided not just over ideas but over truth itself well, now the president of the United States is... <laughs> crowd is going absolutely legend. <laughs> that's my... That's that's in the hall. That's a hall of famer right there. That's up there with uh, fight me like a bruv. <laughs> fight me like a bruv. <laughs> is literally embracing a deranged conspiracy theory. A country in which grievance is weaponized. It's cancel culture, the delusional wokeism that energizes the mob in the streets, in politics, and in media. So this is the Confederate Cemetery in Jonesboro, Georgia, where the Battle of Jonesboro was fought. Losers. The culture war is spreading from the old battlegrounds into almost every aspect of American life. Losers. As a journalist, I try to loser cemetery full of losers. If they were winners, they would have survived. I hate these losers. Keep a skeptical eye. I mean, it is literally loser POV, by the way. And, and, and yes, I am glad that they did lose and they are losers for the, for the record. And, and an open ear. And I believe that there are quite a few people in this country who no longer rely on factually based information to make their decisions. And simply by saying this, I immediately become subject to criticism of people saying I'm a liar. How, how is that kind of change in how people and what information people are consuming? How has that I affected your work? I cannot get one single Trump supporter to speak to me and I know them. Personally, you know them? Yes. As Facebook and Twitter have begun cracking down on disinformation about the election, some Trump supporters have been moving to other social media platforms. I'm trying to find the app so I can contact this guy. Uh, hey Siri, open signal. One of Robin's contacts is a local militiaman. His name is Justin Thayer. 
and he goes by the nickname Slayer. Uh, Thayer's group provided security to uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene's campaign. She's the congresswoman who's supported the QAnon conspiracy theory. I think that a lot of folks who are very Second Amendment uh, loyal uh, or who are in militias and who believe that they are the last line of defense between democracy and all-out chaos feel that their moment may be near. Is that usual? Do you see this usually at the election? No. I've never seen anything like this before. Georgia is still in the eye of the electoral storm, as well as the presidential recount. Vote the your state will vote off. in January in two runoff races that could decide who controls the Senate. Ladies and gentlemen, John Ossoff. Change has come to Georgia. Yeah. Yo, that shit is so cheese, dude. Look at this. Look at this fucking... I mean, it's a cool truck, but like, look at this, dude. Oh, this is so cheese. John Ossoff is like basically building a goddamn lab to be like the most neoliberal candidate you could find. Meanwhile, he's standing in front of an old train and a fucking old Chevy pickup truck. Like... Like, who the fuck? Oh, God, it's like when conservatives... I mean, conservatives do it, too. Conservatives do it, too. At least, like, conservatives do that shit all the time. It's like, you know, Yale Law Andes wearing fucking snakeskin boots and shit. You know what I mean? Going, yeah, You know I love me some Texas steak! It's like, meanwhile, you're Ted Cruz. Like, POV, you're Ted Cruz, and you are... There's nothing Texas about you. Yeah, I say yee all the time. I'm Ted Cruz! Change has come to Georgia. Yeah. Change is coming to America. Yeah. Buoyed by the success of their presidential campaign. Damn, this is weak as fuck, dude. There's like eight people there. God damn, dude. We are going to lose Georgia. Holy shit, brother. The talk at Democratic rallies is about healing, but that hasn't always been the case. Ah! This ah! tendency to, to demonize the other side, um, has come from both sides. It, it, over the past four years, it has ramped up to such a peak. How do you, how do you put that back in the bottle? President-elect Biden, Vice President-elect Harris campaigned explicitly on unity. But here's what I would say further to your question. Corruption in American politics is not a partisan problem. It's a systemic problem that it taints both parties. The reason that there's been such a destruction of confidence in our institutions that then paved the way for the rise of a right-wing demagogue is that deeper underlying corruption. Yo, why do these guys sound so fake? I just don't believe a single thing he just said. Like, I, 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 he's like trying to say the right words, but like, I look at that and I'm like, no, no, no way, no way. You sound fake as fuck, dude. I mean, I also know like what he's gonna do when he's in office, like I know what he, He's just trying to sound like Obama. Obama was probably the most convincing uh, out of all of these people that we look at. Like, he's the most... He was the most convincing to make himself seem more uh, real. About yeah, a mile's drive north Oscar, of Atlanta yeah. is the town of Rome. I'm Marjorie Green, and I'm running for Congress in the 14th District of Georgia. Marjorie Taylor Green. Like, this person is real, okay? Like... Marjorie Taylor Greene is out of her goddamn mind. Like, she is just fucking insane. Like, she is completely out of her mind, right? But, like, that shit is real. She's a psycho. She is a genuine psychopath, okay? John Ossoff is trying his very best to come across as authentic, and it's just really hard. It's just not working. Why did you say banned? ran here on a range of typically conservative issues, anti-abortion, pro-gun. But she's also the congresswoman-elect who believes in the QAnon conspiracy. The voters of this district have just dispatched to Washington a representative who believes that America is under threat from, in her words, a global cabal of Satan-worshipping pedophiles. <laughs> She ran unopposed. It's so much better that he's British. It's literally brass eye 
on today on the day today we're talking about pedophiles pedophilians pedophiles to her democratic opponent pulled out forcing some republican voters to balance their conservative instincts against her more outlandish beliefs yeah i i don't think i buy into that i'm more of the middle do you feel comfortable that somebody like that represents you in Washington? Yeah, I'm not worried about that. You're not worried about it? No. OK, all right. If there had been somebody on the ballot who uh, didn't believe in cabals of Satan worshipping pedophiles, would you have preferred to vote for somebody like that? Well, that's very speculative. Yeah. I would, in the Republican primary, I very well might have. Yeah. But I would never vote for somebody as liberal as what the current left agenda has. Ask him what it is. Ask him what the current left agenda is. Please, I need to know what he thinks the current left agenda is. This new, extreme, radical, democratic, socialist, and even lawless party. In the hyper-polarized, hyperbolic world of the internet and cable news. This week, 82 years ago, Kristallnacht happened. It feels as if America has just made a choice. What is this music, bro? Like, shit got me feeling some type of way. I, I, I feel like... Like, I feel like I'm looking at my own countrymen like they're aliens or something. Like, well, why are they so spooky? I mean, first of all, this is basically a, a, like discount Adam Curtis. Like, that's what they're trying to do. I'm just letting you know that that's what's happening here. It led to an attack. On that's literally what they're doing. Like, I... I Seriously, look at this. This is straight the fuck up. Walmart Adam Curtis. 82 years ago, Kristallnacht happened. It feels as if America has just made a choice. It led to an attack on fact, knowledge, history, and truth. Not between two centrist parties in an established democracy, but about something much more fundamental. After four years of a modern-day assault on those same values by Donald Trump, the Biden-Harris team pledges a return to norms. You're on a quest for power at all costs. Which helps explain why some people are contemplating the future in such existential terms. The militiaman Robin contacted didn't want to speak to us on camera but he put us in touch with one who did. Our country has fallen apart. Uh, we, we, we no longer have uh, Democrats and Republicans. We have um, you know, people uh, moving further to the left towards socialism, Marxism, communism. Either President Trump leads us or we the people will lead ourselves. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Y'all, these people are so wild. Like, there's just, oh God. Yeah, no, we, guys, we lost because of socialism, okay? Not because, like, socialism bad across the board in America, no matter who you are, and that if you're a Democrat, you're a socialist no matter what. Like, every election cycle, Republicans have said socialism bad. Just because Democrats are also saying socialism bad is not going to separate socialism from the Democratic Party in the eyes of these fucking psychos. You might as well do socialism and force them to fucking uh, love socialism. Because they will. They inevitably always do. That's why whenever there's any sort of like economic uh, progress or any sort of like socialization that occurs in the history of the United States of America, it's very hard to fucking unwind all of those uh, steps that have been taken, especially if it's not a stupid ass means tested program, but a universal social safety net. So I'm talking about honoring the oath that I took to defend the Constitution with my life. That's not a threat, the that's a promise. The Constitution guarantees. Like you're a vet, dude. You're a vet, okay? It's the most socialized fucking uh, industry. It, it, like, it's, it's a massive government's jobs program. It's a massive government jobs program, okay? Unfortunately, the output is, is terrible uh, for the most part. But 
you have you have a, a a set of social safety nets that have been given to you as a consequence of you selling your body to the government. So I don't want to fucking hear it. Like I I don't want to hear it. Like you're a part of the VA. Like you're a part of the fucking VA. Like it, it's not even socialized. It's nationalized for the most part. Like it is the most comprehensive, most a socialism program on the planet. Free and fair elections and a peaceful transfer of power. That's the point, isn't it? Right. Hence, uh, free and fair elections. So when we have this rampant fraud, we do not have free and fair elections. It feels to me like there's no way that you're going to accept anything other than Donald yeah, Trump. Yeah, I, 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 verily, I would say to you, I will not fucking accept it. Eleven days since the election, the Stop the Steal caravan has descended on Washington. Holed up inside the White House and still not conceding, Donald Trump has barely been seen in public. But then... This was so funny. Oh, this bitch just dropped the mask, by the way, in its entirety. He's just maskless now. He's just like, fuck it. I have become one with the hogs. Day six of my adventures in the American outdoors, the heartland has become me. I still am wearing a very big fuzzy scarf that I brought from the motherland, but I no longer feel the need to wear a mask. I've already gotten coronavirus eight times. There he is. That's him. <laughs> They're trying to steal it from me. Oh my god, yo, she just that's a wet ass P word, dude. I'm so happy. That's a wet ass P word right there. Yo, who the fuck gushes like this for Donald Trump? Yo, if Donald Trump makes your yo, if Donald Trump makes you feel this way, like you're <laughs> that's, you gotta get a whole bunch of you gotta get a whole bunch of shit checked out. Oh my god. <laughs> They're trying to steal it from me. We can't have that. We can't have that. No, he's our president. He's our commander in chief, and always will be. Oh my God, I love that man. Woo! CNN sucks. CNN sucks. Fox News sucks. Fox News sucks. All the networks have called it for Biden, including Fox News. What the hell happened? What a disgrace! They're the enemy of the people. A million people, it is not. Maybe a few tens of thousands, still. USA! 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 And the Speaker of Honor is the Congresswoman-elect from Georgia's 14th District. The Democrat Party... So who the fuck... Who, who's Morpheus? Wait. Is that the fucking Democrat dude who's like, I'm still a Democrat, but I love Donald Trump? Is that that guy? What is he, like 6'8"? What the fuck? Is this the Democrat dude who's like, I'm still a Democrat, but I love Donald Trump. Whatever his name is. God damn, he's fucking giant, dude. He looks cool as fuck in that leather jacket. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he's Pete Grifter. Is the congresswoman-elect from Georgia's 14th district. The Democrat party is no longer an American party. No. They're the party of socialism, the party of riots, the party of burning businesses. Question from the BBC in London. I just wanted to ask you, do you really believe that Donald Trump is fighting a cabal of Satan-worshipping pedophiles? Trump is fighting to save America and stop socialism. So you guys, you know what, you can keep all your stuff and we're all here today to support our president. We're not here answering. Like that's, that's such a scumbag. Like I could just tell, look at this scum fucker's face. Uh, remember, these people don't stand alone, okay? Behind people like this, you have an army of scum fuckers like this dipshit who at a certain point probably doesn't even believe half the shit uh, uh, that the Republican party puts together. I can immediately clock, I, I, I can immediately just like clock these fucking annoying little staffer shitters on the Republican side, just trying to, just trying to make a killing and, and basically advance.
is fighting a cabal of Satan-worshipping pedophiles. Trump is fighting to save America and stop socialism. So you guys, you know what, you can keep all your stuff and we're all here today to support our president. We're not here answering silly questions. This is about our country. Oh, so it is still. Treat America first, not about the BBC. Is it about you? No. no, you're ridiculous. Why don't you go cover Russian collusion conspiracy theory lies? Why don't you go cover that? Later, they marched towards the Supreme Court. Some here cling to the hope that conservative judges might yet overturn the results of the election. Among them, members of the Proud Boys militia. I love to defend the First Amendment. You know, that's why we got the Second Amendment, brother, to defend the first, right? Meanwhile, like, you know, <laughs> freedom of press is, is not a part of it. <clears throat> Whom Donald Trump infamous. Like, she, he only asked you a question. Why don't you answer the question? Told to stand back and stand by during the first presidential debate. The day passed off peacefully for the most part. But Donald Trump is morphing from commander in chief with more than 70 million voters behind him to a figurehead for the aggrieved. I'm not interested in pushing one candidate or another. I'm, it's, that's not what I'm doing here. Let's see what these guys are doing. In Jonesboro, Robin Kemp continues her one woman fight for a common set of truths. If people are getting bad information or propaganda, which is a piece of the truth wrapped up in a tissue of lies, um, they don't have all the information they need to make a sound decision in a democracy. It's tedious, unglamorous work on the elections and registration office to see if Sean is available. But upon it may depend the future of these United States. Hurry up and wait. The reporter's life, hurry up and wait.